Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Marathon. Kurt Ziza round two. So my recommendations from last time are potentially have them use items, HP recovery items. Immediately. And the thing is, Donald's the only one who heals you and he can't use magic. That's, I guess, the biggest problem. You can manually change it too. Not immediately, no. That's a huge waste. I wouldn't. I would put it only ever on frequently. From what I saw it during the. Uh, yeah, I guess. Um, maybe not MP, but. But yeah, I don't know. That's probably fine. Medium. Not what? Why are you putting everything on frequently? What's your, what's, what's, what's your rationale for messing with the regular and special attacks? Kind of like that, except for... Yeah, put, put Luffy back in for, on, on, free, on personal. Personal seemed to be a pretty good... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Put Luffy that way. And then... Donald. Do we want Aladdin instead? Do we want level Aladdin? Lizzie, right? Hmm? What level is he? He could be the same level. Levels levels are... are global. Well, who would you switch out though? That's the thing. Uh, Goofy. How's Goofy useful in this fight? Yeah, I mean, it looked like it was gonna end pretty quickly. He, you know, he, these good points carrying a shit ton of items. And and I think uh, a lot of can carry just as many, can't he? Switch out Goofy. The Goofster. Possibly. Aladdin probably does have a lot of powerful attacks. Mm-hmm. Right, let's just do this now. That's good. Bag elixir? Oh, yeah, I can Also see how many item slots Aladdin has. Okay, so he does have less. Don't give him mega elixirs. Just one? Maybe, but the like, will should be saved for you. Like I'm saying like you should just take like all mega elixirs. Okay. Or yeah, all, there's no there's no the, confusion. It's like I don't need to sort through getting an ether or a high potion. It's just like no. one and, choice. And 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 you have a point. The only other time we would use an elixir would be for Sephiroth, and those are elixirs that we want to use. A mega elixir is no good to us. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not no good to us. It's just no better. But here, if everyone has mega elixirs, everyone can heal everyone's MP and HP, and everyone's happy. We just don't want them to waste them. Mm -hmm. But I guess as long as it keeps somebody alive, it's not much of a waste, right? That good? Or should I just do all? I think you should do all that. I mean, worse comes to worse, if you lose again, maybe you're gonna have the best output here. Yeah, let's see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, you don't need. You I don't need really to doubt you're gonna need like. That many fucking elixirs. Keep like ending. three. Like if you can keep three in your stock, in case in case we need them for like for some reason in the final battle. I don't know. Just keep them around. Sure. You can always synthesize more, I guess, but we yeah. need to figure out how to make them. I don't think we have worked like that far enough in that synthesis tree. And uh, then save, I guess. I don't have to go through all that bullshit again if you lose. So Orogo right away, and start attacking Hams. So I can burn. What about Aladdin's abilities? He's yeah. fine. Okay. Everyone always has their, like, they come with, like, they come with all their abilities set, and then with some optional ones that you have to switch out stuff for. Or spend AP ups on characters that are world-specific. Just, just 
ridiculous. <laughs> Why you would ever do that is beyond me. Except maybe to specifically, like, maybe make this fight easier. Where did the carpet go? Oh, I can face through walls. I don't know why I couldn't fly over the wall. Oh, I thought you used Tinkerbell. Uh, Last time. Ooh! Find out if that's possible once your magic becomes unsealed. I entirely... I, don't I wouldn't think so. Why not? Why not? Oh, I thought it was kind of like a Trinity type. No. Tinkerbell just requires both your party members to be alive. It doesn't matter who it is. And for you to be able to use magic, of course. I wonder if that actually would work. That would be so rigged. Well, we'll find out very shortly. Damn you! Check our sword. <laughs> Should I just do it? Yeah, do it. And then Aroga? Wow, I can't fucking believe that. Uh, no, attack him. No, yeah, and then attack. when he starts to get back up, Aroga. Plus, your magic won't be sealed this time. So there's no rush on Aroga this time. Yeah, this right. is the Thunder Go part. Yeah, this is the this is where you actually want magic. So maybe that summon wasn't the best time, but I mean, like, we can do it now, as opposed to not now. You Try to get rid of his purple. Try to get him into yeah. pink. Do you use Ragnarok at this point? Uh, maybe save the magic for the shield. Okay. So now cast arrows in there. And start, yeah. Uh, so as you start to, no, as you, every time you attack his shield, he's dropped magic. So make sure you pick up the magic as you uh, go. Keep you high in magic. Keep your thunder ability. Yeah, he's dropping magic every time you hit him. So just follow where you're, where he is, basically. Yeah, just keep rushing him. Donald's doing fuck all of his magic, eh? Uh, yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Can you tell him to attack? Oh, there we go. No, he's doing something like every now and then. I think he's just getting like... He's just trying to catch up the whole time. Fuck that motherfucker up. Uh, no, time. badly timed. Yeah, hit him, man. Yeah, yeah that, you gotta attack. It says he gets up after this, then. Yeah, yes. that, yeah, then you do it. And you should still do it. You should recast it when when he starts to get up. Like, right? No, no, no. No, you got. Now! Okay, good. Now. Uh, he's gonna do that crazy shit, so get that, just start super gliding, or dodge rolling, or something. I'm trying to... I'm in the air and I'm pressing it. Okay, well dodge. don't do that then, dodge roll. Obviously that wasn't working. Did you guys re-equip dodge roll? Yeah. Use a mega elixir. That was an ether. Oh no, okay. That was an elixir. I misread that. Uh, wow, they're both dead, huh? Tinkerbell? Fuck. <laughs> Don't switch targets. Because when you take one out, you'll get HP. Uh. Nice, yeah, dodge roll is obviously the way to go. Yeah. So we went faster. Yeah. Except for that one. That, yeah, that one you Can you hit. just jump over that one? Yeah, yeah that one would be the air dodge one. Or not air dodge, but yeah. No, just jump. You don't have to make such a big retreat, you know. Okay. Oh, heal, bud. 
That brings him back to life? I guess so. You really need to attack more. Like, this is going way slower than the first time. Like, you can't let him keep going into this. You gotta stop him before he can. No, you gotta dodge roll. Just dodge like dodge roll even sooner. Like start start doing it before he even starts coming at you. So you're just running away from him at that point. Like run sideways, not away. Wrong side. Like, start taking evasive maneuvers, like, before he even starts coming at you. No, never- Glide is never gonna get you out of that. Now you're dead. Oh, Tinkerbell just saved your ass. Nice. Yes. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't try that when we said just jump over it. Maybe made me think it wasn't worth it. Nice, there you go. Now fuck his head up, yep. Just all out attack here. Yeah, don't even, like, you know what, don't worry about your, like, Ragnaroks and your Arcanums. That just did a shit ton of damage by itself. No, you zero. Yeah. And remember, as you cast magic at him, you can keep recovering your magic. There you go. You can okay. cast Thunder, like, Rapid Fire, too. Uh, recover enough magic and cast arrow, not thunder. And that failed. Okay, do it. Keep recovering your magic. I just got. I got that from him. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't use that. Don't use that. Use this. Don't use either of those. Donald, do it. Just let Donald cast magic on him. Donald's not casting his magic at all, man. Is he broken? Did you turn off him? Pretty sure, yeah, they think that's what happened, man. Did you turn off his magic? I hope I didn't, by yeah, accident. That's, that's what happened. Hey, you gotta attack. You can probably finish him here. Arrow go. Nope, arrow go. No book it. Yeah. Okay, jump. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Jump. Jump. Nice. Attack his balls. <laughs> Don't run away and behind behind him and, st and stuff. You gotta um. You know, like back up from where he is so he can't hit you with a sword attack.
So I think you can, if you can avoid getting hit by another sword attack, you can let Tinkerbell get you back to health while you take out his ball, and then you'll get enough health to keep yourself going for the other one. Thank you, getting attack in. You're good. Nice. Oh. Yeah. And I get to use those things too. So he's coming at you. Yeah, they're supposed to automatically go into your thing, don't they? Jump. Shit. Shit! Doesn't make any third. Make a potion. <laughs> a nice catch, Tactus. I know you saw that too. <laughs> uh, I would. There's no way you would have been able to hear what I said. So looks like you can go under it the first time. And did all of that. Nice. Well, at least it was consistent. <laughs> I can't believe we turned all the magic off. There's no other explanation. <sighs> Brutal. Yeah. That would have made this so much easier. Well, I know if we lose what we have to do to fix it, obviously. Yeah. You get the hang of this. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, uh, if we don't win this one, we certainly will the next time. But I think even with a crippled Donald, we can really? do it. Really? Uh, keep, uh, no, don't. Did you use it? Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, don't you, you know, he's not gonna do that another attack for a few seconds. Tinkerbell will heal you, and if you can take out the ball, he'll get enough HP. Basically, you need to take him down this time. You need to do everything you can to kill him. Oh my god, I can only ever get one in. Well then get one in and get out of there, knowing you can only get one in. I mean like, before he pulls away. Right, but then get one in and get out. Before there he can pull nice. off the attack. Fuck his head up. Yeah. Do not let him survive this. Oh. Nice, buddy, yeah. Finally. With Donald fucking like out of commission. <laughs> uh, uh. Alright, well, we could have announced this early on, but I am now proud to announce we have cleared all but one prerequisite, which I'm willing to waive to go to the endgame scenario. Kingdom Hearts endgame is coming to an end. Defeating Sephiroth will not be deemed necessary, but we should try again. Just for fun. Just for kicks. Piece of heart? No, man, we've been over this. That's a full heart container. Mm -hmm. Full one. Like bosses get. You know, we get full ones. Dude, did I get MP or HP? You got everything. You're the man, man. Dude. Okay. That was 20,000 HP. So, how close are we to the next level? At close. Yeah. Stay juice. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're already almost level. What was that, 63 now? We're almost 63, yeah. yeah. What did hey, I just level say? 70 was a recommended Sephiroth. Just what, saying. What level was this boss fight record in that? I don't think it has one. Sevadas. Was that harder or easier than the ice one? That one was... Sorry, just frustrating. I couldn't hit his hand more than once. And... How do you think I felt during the phantom fight trying to get the... the yeah. um, the magic started, like, I started to get the magic timing better, but that, the physical attacks were always hit and miss. I, 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 that's why I was so eager to keep Peter Pan alive as well as Goofy. Yeah. And, and, you, like, either, basically, when you do that fight, you either have, you, you nope. need to have, like, a watch in front of you, or, or, or a stopwatch, or, or someone else keeping track of time. Do we want to make a stop at Traverse Town? I was, I was going to say, uh, try Sephiroth again. No, no. No? Well, we can. But no, no, we have to. I, I'm, I'm, no, we have to fight Sephiroth again. We do not have to beat him. We have to... We have to bring his HP down. We have to bring his HP bar down from... We have to visually decrease his HP. That's all I'm asking. Okay. Bring his HP from purple to slightly not as purple. You can put all the elixirs in you want. Because if you, if you die, don't obviously load. What are we buying here? High potions and ethers again? Yeah. 
Load up, load up on drugs. Give me that ether. So, this could be the final part of the marathon. In fact, it's shaping up to be for sure. How much to the end world do you have to get through? Are you like at the spot where you uh... I, I say we I say we walk through the whole world again, fighting as we go, just a bit, as a build up. The whole world again? Well, if you say you don't do that, how much time do you think it'll take? Less than the I, I think the only other save point is like right at the end. So it's like we can skip right to the end and we can do a little bit of warm up. We get back into the the like we've been a way off task. We need to get back into the story zone. Tagless, it's up to you, of course. Striker is 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 implying we go straight for the, for the end. I'm saying we build up to it. But ultimately, I guess it'll be your call. I wish there was one in the middle. I, there is kind of one in the middle, but it's. No, I gotta try separate. Ah, uh, yeah, no, we do have to try separate. Forgot. Just warp. Four. R four. Plot of course. I wish we had an astromech droid in our gummy ship. An astro gummy sh droid. Astro gummy droid. So well, hold on. Check Donald. Check Donald. So yeah, we need to fucking fucking fix that shit. Oh, dude. Occasionally and... Oh, my God. And... You need to put, like, that shit to constantly, man. <laughs> personal. Yeah, that, that's that's it. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we pretty... Oh, hold on. What's what's that? What is that? Is that you get what you get for defeating the Hades Cup? Is there something like that on the opposite side? Examine? Oh, what? What the hell is that? It's a synthesis item. Ooh. No, just be the Hades Cup, so here, have an extra R Falcon. Maybe the, the thing you get from the uh, Platinum Cup is one of the ingredients you need for the... Uh, you don't get anything from the Platinum Cup. No, no. Really? Not even any of the ingredients? Like, you, I mean, you, you get XP. Oh, I can't just accept that. <laughs> Kurt Zizza was just XP. We didn't get anything for that. Mm. All right, I've got all the elixirs. Save. And uh, throw in that extra ability that allows you to throw your sword. Do you want to hear the strategy for Sephiroth? We do. All right, fight Sephiroth alone in the Coliseum and defeat him so you can claim to have bested this best for the soldier command. Whatever. Uh, it is recommended that the player be at a very high level entering this fight, possibly level 70 and up. He's hard to defeat even at level 100. Make sure you equip Sora with elixirs and all of his item slots. You must have the second chance ability equipped, too. Check it out. When the fight begins, jump away from Sephiroth and cast Aroga. Sephiroth starts with three different attacks. He walks around slowly and quickly swings his sword. When Sephiroth receives too much damage, he teleports behind you and strikes. When this occurs, immediately jump to avoid it. He will emit a pillar of flame. If you get caught inside it, use the R's Arcanum ability to inflict damage while you're invincible. So he's still vulnerable while he's doing the... So if you if you happen to get caught in it, turn yourself invincible and Arcanum. Understand? That's not the whole strategy. So I hope you didn't just start. I totally I'm going to have to read real fast now. Um, you that you can perform the strike rate combo from a safe distance to inflict damage. Because Sephiroth teleports a lot, use the lock-on feature to track him. After you deplete his purple HP bar and begin depleting his pink HP bar, he will leap and taunt you. Now he has another attack. After taunting you, he teleports away and casts a spell. It's important to look at him. We'll use the super glide ability. We're going to lock on to him and use the super glide ability so you can strike and stop the devastating spell. If you don't arrive in time, the spell will deplete all of your HP and MP, as well as Aroga. Try the to super glide. Your MP? Yeah. That's why you have elixirs, to restore both MP and HP. So dodge first? 
Yeah, that was a good move. So far, so good. Arcanum! Cure! Arcanum! Cure! You're probably gonna wanna use an elixir if he does a lot of damage to you again. MP? No, you did not. Uh, use the elixir. No. Why? Why does it have an option for swim? Uh, Aroga. Cure and Aroga, both. And now resume attacking. Oh my god, still no change in HP bar, are you fucking shitting me? <laughs> Is this, does it give you a number for his HP? 1,800. Cure and Aroga. Aroga should be first in that scenario. Yeah, yeah. Cure again. And start attacking so you can get magic back, so you can get Arcanum off. I'm not saying you should. No, no, you can't do that. You need to like know how much magic you have at all times. You need to watch your HP and MP. You can't just glance over them every now and then. It has to be constantly on your mind. There we go. Yeah. Roga and Cure. I don't know what happened there. Arcanum. Well, too late now. Cure. Like, if you're below H half HP, you should be curing. You wanted to see his HP. Wanted, you see, you wanted to see one of his HP bars depleted. I want to see one of his HP bars move. Yeah, that, that, that's that's actually. Aroga, yeah. Tech is all you gotta do is expose some underlying pink, and you can go to the end of the game. But yeah, you don't even have to worry about wasting them because we can reload the save. I just want to. No fucking way. Just keep attacking. You could have kept attacking there. You're playing. You like again. You always play too cautiously, and that's what ends up killing you. Because if you're not attacking him, he's attacking you. I don't know how like magic works on him. I'm assuming not well. It seems too easy. You're doubting if he even is taking damage, right? Yeah. Don't worry, he is. Like again, you can keep attacking him there. Like at the end of our arcanum doesn't mean retreat, it means keep finish keep attacking until he retreats. Pure and Aroga. You know you can arcane him when he's not doing the fire thing? Oh, 
Okay, I'm starting to doubt it now, but I'm sure. Oh my god. My turn. Yeah. I want to. I, I want. If I just beat him here, I'd be really impressed with myself. Okay, so obviously we need to reload, so we'll be right back. Immediately. All right, it is Mump's turn to fight Sephiroth and 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 hopefully actually bring his HP down. Because I want I want to see his HP go down before we finish this marathon. Like again, I don't I don't expect to defeat him here. I just want to. I want I want to make him hurt a little bit. I love this this summon here. Make him rethink his life priorities. This summon is the coolest thing in this game. It's isn't it like a. Our complete it's, it's, it's a lot like it's a lot like your Trinity finish attack, yeah. Uh, what's your credit to what? X is Kiraga. What's your Roga? Triangle? Yeah. And then the other one is Thunder. Round two, fight! Alright, all slots are elixirs? Yeah. the ropes now, Sephiroth! I can track you now! <laughs> yeah. See, he's not so godly now, right? Now that you can actually see it happen? You know, I think I have a strategy here. It's working. Slow, but sure. Until you get past the first fucking health bar. Yeah, then it all changes. Uh, you don't have strike rate, do you? Or do you? Nope. You no? Know? Yeah, he didn't equip man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Which is super glide. Quick, I need to know. Uh, you jump. Triangle. And press left. Left side. X. What the? X. Uh, I, I was trying to think which one that was. Damn. That was two. X is X is A. That's jump. X. Blue X. Oh, X on the Xbox controller. Yeah. That's why I was <laughs> trying to think which one would be better. 
Square, because square is. I would have said meaningful. <laughs> so what's the plan then? Did I even use any elixirs that time? Mm, I don't think so. No, you didn't use any items. Really? Wow. I was wondering. Do, I, do, do, do we try again, or do we come back after that? I think if you try again, you'll beat him. Uh, uh, disagree. No, I disagree. Or does it get really fucked? Actually, the first health fucking... bar it gets pretty fucked. Oh, like there's shit, there's shit that'll kill you instantly, though. Mm, oh, no, yeah, second, yeah. Pretty yeah. damn close. With a, with a second chance here. Alright, so we'll start one more time, and we will end this story. And then come back to Sephiroth. I, I think we'll finish Sephiroth, but we'll do it after the credits. Okay. The credits will come first, and we might not do Sephiroth today. But we'll definitely come back and finish mm -hmm. him. Or I'll just finish him on my own time, or something. Maybe we'll all just finish him. We'll all just beat Sephiroth. Yeah, I think pull it off. But we'll be right back, again, immediately. The clock that I used to keep track of time has been turned off. Eliminated. We are back with the end of Kingdom Hearts. Let's go to the end of the world. Sephiroth, will come back for you. We've got your number. You still have, like, even, like, Question tag was, if you keep all elixirs in your items right now, do you have enough elixirs to replenish that again after this? No, I've got three left, I think. Okay, then replace some of those elixirs. Like, keep, keep those elixirs for the Sephiroth fight. Like, how many, how many items can you take at once? Eight or six? Six? Whatever, keep at least that many. <laughs> Uh, we could go to the world, I, I would say World Terminus would probably be the, the, if we don't want to go through the whole thing, it's probably a good place to warm up. Oh, oh we had God, place. Jesus, it's a, it's a fake Winnie the Pooh land. Yeah. So yeah, take out some of those elixirs, and that's totally eight. So we've got only one left. Reserve. Yeah, so take out, um... I mean, I don't mind using high or, or mega elixirs either. We don't need them anymore either. True. We still got plenty of those, right? Mm, yeah, like four or three. Like I can, like just as long as I have enough mega elixirs and elixirs to fill up my inventory, and if I get set for health, I'm happy. I don't think this is your last and only chance to put items for the rest of the game, but this is your last chance for a little while, I think. I really either... It's a combination of can't remembering how exactly this end game plays out, and be not wanting to tell you. But I, don't, but I don't even need to... There'll be no guide for this either. I think we can figure this out on our own after, after the, some of that shit. That we Pretty did. straightforward, yeah. Like I said... This part should actually be quite easy compared to some of the stuff we just did. If you can put... I guess you can maybe do it later, but I do remember Trinity Limit being quite useful in some of the later stages of this final encounters. Oh yeah. So, if you can find a way to get that in your thing. Then, then I'd recommend it. So like tra take off treasure magnet. At both of them. That'll be at four MB right there. And then you just have to find one more. Where's the other one? I don't think you have one. Oh, there you go. No, I knew, I, knew he, I knew he got treasure magnet like quite early on, and that's that one is late. Uh, keep going. What about something else we can get rid of. Is there, is there what has one? Anything? Air combo plus. Useful. Zerk. You already fucking Take Berserk off, yeah. And we don't like staying at low HP scenarios. It's okay for our party members to some extent, mm -hmm. but for us, that's uh, that's way too risky. I love the music. So I found out that uh, it's actually a different track from the one from the beginning of the game. It's not the same one. Nice. Um, 
I'm just gonna quickly use the washroom. I wasn't thinking before we jumped in. Do you wanna? No, of course not. I can't touch we... that. It would burn my hands off. No, we can't. Uh, I can. I can pause the recording for a moment. All right. Well, all, t- all type is his fault. You guys have to wait even longer. But I will cut it now. Welcome back, Typhus. Hello. Here we go. Um, let me go this way. There are no washroom breaks at the end of the world. Whoa, the field turned into a big scary place. We've been here. Jump into the hole. And then I think go through the volcano. What? The volcano. Volcanoes are generally where? But in the sky? Sideways? That would be fucked. <laughs> down. Is that far down, really? Well, this was a giant boss fight, right? Right. I forgot about that. And then you can go through this upper door and jump down, or you can just fly down. Fly down. Okay. No, you apparently not. Down. <laughs> It's like one well, of that time, it's like, so, Tablos, are you gonna vine or cross, or are you gonna platform? I'm gonna platform. Game crashes. And then we end up in the vines, because that's what the save point was. And we vined. Yes. Yeah, we will. So, yeah, I, is this like Maleficent's world? Like, what's left of Maleficent's world? Like, look around, like, the thorns and stuff, yeah. and the forest. Like, totally this. Right. I fucking hate that. And it slowly thing. starts degrading. And Maleficent was the easiest one. Uh, you got lucky, to some extent. I had such a tough time with that when I did my run through. Oh, interesting. Um, okay, well... So, we don't actually get to have a serious fight before we go into the final We're gonna get them fucking hippies. We have to fight these things. That's kind of disappointing. Donald still isn't using his magic other way. Well, that's good, because these guys' things aren't so great with magic. At least Donald's like mixing it up. He's like, hey, fire's not working. I should try thunder. <laughs> hmm, that's not working. I should try something else. So they didn't give you any rare drop. You know what? Go two rooms away and come back. Let's do a real fight before we go in. That's, that's that door, isn't it, right? Run across. Yeah. So go two rooms away and come back. I think that should cause the enemies to respawn. And actually give, give us real enemies. You know, a little XP boost before we go in, too. Say the, this isn't the games anymore. Nope. The games. This is the real deal. By the way, what you just did is also the way to um, far grind. Or no, to 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 get like mushrooms to appear. You enter the room. Hey, is this mushrooms? No. Okay, I'm gonna leave. Go two rooms away. Come back. Two incredibly close rooms. Yeah. Let's this is the best the place to exploit and. Like I said, you can get all three different types of mushrooms in here. I think so, at least. Really, so, still Tuckless, not you have out. never seen passes, part, eh? You don't have to use any items, by the way. Uh, put me up full? There's a save point in there, too. Which is why I said don't go to that save point, because then we wouldn't really have to do anything to get here. So you haven't seen part past this room? No. Should I save you? Yeah. <laughs> so... There was some item usage. So, Teclis doesn't know that beyond that uh, door is Narnia? Looks like a giant fucking wardrobe. Unfortunately, that's closer to the truth than I would like. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what I guessed. He doesn't want to go to Narnia. They're fucking talking lions. And they got Mr. Tumnus. No, unfortunately, all we have behind this door is is. I'll, I'll wait to say the line later. I'll try to come back to it. And some seeker of darkness. Okay, maybe I don't have to come back to it. <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Where? There's a piece of dust in the door. So don't worry. The game was going to make sure. You knew what was going on. There is no light to protect you. Oh, answer reports. We want to read oh, those before we go in. Remember, you are the one who will open the door to the light. 
Shut up, Darnold. The voice wasn't talking to you. <laughs> I think we need to read those answer reports. We need the story to go before we go in. Do we have them all now? We okay. haven't read two. Just go to one. Just... Just scroll through it real quick. Next page. Next page. All right, next one. Just, just even, even so, like, just as a reminder for people, we can pause on this stuff. One. Yeah, it is my duty to expose what this darkness really is. I shall conduct the following experiments: extract the darkness from a person's heart, cultivate darkness in a pure heart, both suppress and amplify the darkness within. The experiments caused the test subjects' hearts to collapse, including those of, of the most. Was that stalwart? Mm -hmm. Yeah, stalwart. What does it mean? Strongest hearts, I guess. Sure. How fragile our hearts are. My treatments produced no signs of recovery. I could find. Flip. Like, I could find those who had completely lost their hearts beneath the castle. Sometime later, I went below and was greeted by the strangest sight: creatures that seemed born of the darkness. What are they? Are they truly sentient beings? Could they be the shadows who lost their hearts in my experiments? So he created the heartless? Yeah, basically. Did you bring read three? Yeah. Yeah. So the viewers could see. Skies are called lost the hearts of the imagination. I think we read this one before, so just go through it quickly. Yep, we read this one for sure. Keep going though. Okay, cool. Next. I will call them the heartless. Heartless appear in groups and are multiplying rapidly. I provided them both living and non-living samples. They responded only to the living. They seemed to multiply after absorbing something from the living creatures. Their prey vanishes without a trace. I believe the heartless are taking hearts. They are born from those who have lost their hearts and thrive on hearts seized from others. The hearts taken by the heartless become heartless themselves. Though I lack proof, I am confident in my hypothesis. I must also study their behavioral uh, principles. Though they lack emotions, they do seem to have some intelligence. How to communicate with them? It just occurred to me. Could they be the darkness in people's hearts? Next page. I study heartless to study heartless behavior. I picked out one out of out for observation. It wriggled its antenna, and if sensing the target, headed deep into the castle. In the deepest part of the castle, its antenna began to vibrate as if it was searching for something. Suddenly, a strange door appeared. I'd never known of its existence. It had a large keyhole, but it didn't seem to be locked. So I opened the door. What I saw on the other side mystified me. What was that powerful mass of energy? That night I observed a great meteor shower in the sky. Could it be related to the door I have opened? A massive core of energy lay beyond the door sought by the Heartless. It may well be the ultimate goal of all Heartless. But what is that energy? I have devised a hypothesis based upon my observations of the Heartless. The Heartless feed on others' hearts, and they yearn for that energy core. That thing beyond the door must be a heart, too. The heart of this world. There is no proof, but I have felt that immense energy. I am certain that it was the heart of the world. The Heartless are trying to take... Not only hearts for not only from the living creatures, but from the world itself. But what do they mean to do with the heart of the world? Oh, uh, we've read this one. I'll the rest of the yeah. Okay, next. There is no doubt that the heartless are deeply connected to people's hearts. Further study may unravel both their motivations and mysteries shrouding the heart. As I start, I have built a device that artificially creates heartless. By recreating the conditions that spawn the heartless naturally, I should be able to produce them artificially. This device is the culmination of all my research thus far. The machine's test ran successfully, created a heartless. This may be a step towards creating a heart from nothing. The artificially and naturally created heartless showed nearly identical traits. 
that the two types should remain distinct for the purposes of this experiment, so I will mark the ones that I that are created artificially. Hmm. You know that emblem yep. on all the heartless? Uh, Those are all artificial ones made by this machine. So or or caused much, by that machine. So pretty much all the fucking heartless you see there. The shadows and some of the some of the more basic heartless and stuff generally do not are, are not emblem heartless. So sorry, did we read to nine? I'm pretty sure we've read nine. Sorry, let me see. Yes, yes we did. But did you, did you flip through it? I flipped through it already. Okay. Just as people have hearts, so do worlds. The same can be said of the stars in the night sky. And deep within each world lies a door to its heart. The heartless desire of these hearts, born out of the darkness in people's hearts, they seek to return to a greater heart. Yes, that's it. The heartless comfort people's hearts, as does the darkness. Is the core of the world's heart the world of the heartless? I will pursue the answer there, and become all known. My path is set. I shall seek out the wielder of the Keyblade and the princesses. My body is too frail for such a journey, but I must do this. I will cast it off and plunge into the depths of darkness. Question, just so I can recap this. What are the, what's the deal with the princesses again? Uh, they open the door to... The heart of the world? The key, yeah, to the, the keyhole on Hollow Bastion. Okay. Which, yeah. Is that, is that all the, the logs for Hansel? I think that's ten, yeah. Okay. Alright. We don't have to save after that tech list, by the way. It doesn't really keep track of your reading. You opened the door. It's a big grilled cheese sandwich waiting for you. You will be the one who opens the door to light. Now, tech list, do you understand anything yet? Do you know anything yet? Um. Because one who knows nothing can understand nothing. Agreed. Is this... Is this my Isaac? Don't get home, bro. Game over. Yep. Good job. But the music, the music isn't right. Something's not right. <laughs> Donald's just friends? like, I kind of dig it. Let's just leave it like this. And Goofy's like, whatever. Hey, where's the bridge? bridge? I can't even go out there. Again, it's like, this is one of those, like, fake versions of, of the place. Also, look, look, your, your feet are still sparkling when you walk, like it does in the, in the end of the world place. I'm not so for you. Why are you gliding? Because wouldn't you glide if you could glide all the time? Super glad, I mean. This world has been connected. What was that? Oh, you hear him now. Okay, time good. The darkness. Soon to be completely eclipsed. There is so very much to life. You understand something. Ah, I read all your reports. One who knows nothing can understand nothing. Where could us? Where are you? That's your bestest bud. He's on the ruins of the beach. You find nothing. One who finds nothing can accomplish nothing. nothing. <laughs> Going in. So we for the kill. Yeah, an owl. One who glides point. slowly will glide slowly. The fault no, will fall to the ground faster. No, we'll fall, fall at the same rate, but it gets, further, it gets less distance. To the heart seeking freedom, this island is a prison, surrounded by water. And so this boy sought out to escape from this prison. He sought a way to cross over into other worlds, and he opened his heart to darkness. Riku! Don't bother. Your voice can no longer reach him where he is. His heart belongs again to darkness. 
all worlds begin in darkness. And all so end. The heart is no different. Darkness sprouts within it. It grows, consumes it. Such is its nature. In the end, every heart returns to the darkness whence it came. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true. Is the it? heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned that deep down there's a light that never goes out. Oh, he didn't like that. So take that. So you have come this far, and still you understand nothing. Lest we forget. Every light must fade. Every heart return to darkness. Well, who knows nothing? You you know this guy. Teclas. We we fought him in Birth by Sleep before. Man, he is doing fuck all for damage against you. Don't try Trinity. That's a lot of magic to just suddenly throw away. Yeah, it's no. a finisher move, not a in main middle of battle move. Yeah. Uh, you might have to do something here. You be possessed by a demon. What happens when you hit freeze? Or does he grab you at that point? Is that what happens? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, don't 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 attack when he's using freeze. Heal. Thank you, Donald. And Goofy, and you. Creepy. Yeah, you, you do not you don't want to get hit by that attack. I don't even know how you get rid of it. Does it just wear off over time or, or what? That helps mitigate it. Like you can probably attack with like Ragnarok or something. Like it, it's not blocking that. This is a very hard risk of using Trinity by mistake here. Whatever, he's he's not on you anymore. Get away, get away! Okay. Third time now, you need to um, not get hit by that, because it pretty much prevents you from attacking for a period of time. Heal. Ragnarok. No, you gotta get below him. Oh shit. That was wrong. That's fucking sneaky, man. What? That's fucking bullshit. I just switched like that really quick. No, you have to be below him. So you jump up at him. Yeah, that fucks out of damage. Though. With barely any damage. They got rid of the whole fucking health bar, man. He was barely anything left on Did he, 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 he had about he had about a third of the health bar left. But he had anyway, the... he's attacked Donald right now, so Donald's the one who's being fucked over, so you're good. You can finish this thing right now. Is this the last battle, or is there another phase? Well, if you, die, it's, if, if you die, it's certainly not the last battle. Did you some kind of fucking tough guy attack this? Survived. I think he missed. Now, finish him. Just rush him, yeah. Not when it says freeze. Oh. 
Or apparently you know when it doesn't say freeze. Or it can just switch so quickly it doesn't matter. Bottle's gone. Nice. Did you even hit him or was that your was that your arrow? I'd like to think that was me. Yes, you did cast arrow. Good job. Mm. Your shield hit his shield and he lost. And then he got twice as big. All the bosses came at once. And I died. <laughs> I'm gonna float over here now. Damn it! I'm gonna be this guy. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait over here. Let me use it that time. Yeah, how about the. You can at least use like a commodity or something. Yes. And maybe restock the guy's items. Ooh. Did you ever really use cottages and stuff when you find? I, mean, I always forgot about them. It was easy fun. enough just to find a save point exactly. to stand on. Exactly. I guess here would be the only time I probably would have ever used it. Like I, I'm sure I would have looked for a way to recover health in between the spikes. No music, it's kind of unsettling. No chests. Still glowing uh, feet, and yeah, no chests. I'm no chests no chest at all. Don't worry about that. We haven't had a chest in a long time. Wow. So, all your items that you put on those guys, not needed. Don't worry though, you, you've, you've seen this guy before. First enemy of the game? First boss of the game. You do fight shadows before. He is stronger though. Not a lot, but a little. So this guy is an original Heartless. Uh, yeah, I guess so, because he does not have an emblem. Yeah, you can see the extra damage the arrow does in the, in the attacks. What do you got going on here, bud? You know, the same attacks he's always had. Sephiroth for a second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now I'm Sephiroth. That'd be brutal. Hope, hope, hope you, uh, hope you got used to him. Alright, got a little, uh... Okay. He's got a nasty dash attack right now. But I don't think he has that annoying attack where he put the Guardian on you. He has a bunch of other annoying attacks instead. Oh no, he still does! So, as long as I don't attack him, I'm good? Well, he, he does a little bit of damage to you when he pops up. Hmm. Can, can you do something right as it pops up or something? What does the manual say for shit? I, I said we weren't gonna look. I mean, there's only so many things we can do. Oh my 
Mumbo chains are so long now. Yeah, and remember, you're still not end game yet. Like, well, technically, you still have like another 40 levels to go. I'm sure in there, there's a couple of, like combo pluses. Mm. 40 levels. Yeah, he's only levels. 60 something. Right, right, right. Yeah, 100 is yeah. Like I said, you might be able to get a Ragnarok off in all this. Yeah. And he's gotten off your back now. You should heal. 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 Um, start. Yeah. Not, yeah. That. Do that. Just don't, you know, yeah, don't, don't uh, corner yourself. And he's invincible. Alright. That wasn't evident. Well, now it is. Okay, so uh, I don't know what the best way to do this is. Just dog roll. Dog roll for sure. Hello, I can't see you. The delayed one. Every fourth. Oh, good. You you dodged it. You should probably put an arrow back on. Oh, you got to that time. Yeah, just just heal and and and, pl and hold out. Just just hold it. Just help, hold out until it wears off. Oh, that's what that does. Yeah. You done? Yeah, he's done. All right. Uh, this, this is something different, I think, this time. No, it's the same. What do you hope for? Final dog uh-huh. Yeah. Heal. That wasn't heal. No. Wait, did you just heal and it hurt him or did he run into your don't use the mega elixir? Didn't I just use this one the power. Well I mean now you have no Omega elixirs left. Rush him. All you needed to do to get your magic back was hit him a couple times. Or get hit. Yes. You have a choice. Oh, HP. Alright. Well done, sir. You're dead. Sorry. Game over. Come on, Sora. I thought you were stronger than that. Right. I can fly. No. Do I go down there? No. Do you not see the giant shield that we were showing you? The giant fucking shirt was due with a double edged sword? Yeah. He turned his shirt into a double-edged wing blade. Arrow? Lasers? Uh, oh my god. 
Holy shit, Xemnas has these same lasers. Of course, because it's the same person, more or less. Heartless and the Nobody, similar attacks. I just haven't, I have not seen this boss since playing Kingdom Hearts 2. Xemnas has more lasers, though. And I do like Xemnas better. He's cooler. Wait, why are there like weird bat things? I've never seen those before. Apparently they can be draw killed. some healing balls. Yeah. Yeah, that works too, I guess. You might want to do something about whatever this is. <laughs> Maybe defeat those those bat things. Free health, free health, basically. <laughs> he getting fucked up by the bad thing. Heal? Yeah. Okay, well, obviously ignore the bad thing then. Because this yeah, is way too effort. I'm a little concerned that if we hadn't been here to like help you along, we still you'd still be fighting the first dark side. No, I was about to give up on the bat. I don't, I don't even remember. I do not recall those bats. Like, I literally feel like I've never seen them before in my life. Pretty strong feeling. I know, but I, again, it's not like it's not like the emulator can create new enemies. Yeah, fair enough. The bats are still fucking you up, <laughs> even after the fight's over. When you put a sticker over my face, I become invincible. I become trademark. <laughs> I think you can fly into that. Oh, okay. Well, you can do it automatically. Ground fight? Really? So now you're gonna fight in the dark for a while. Jack is fuck this part off of the you. Are they all shadows? It's just with a bunch of HP. Shadows with tons and tons of HP. Yeah. And mega potions. Yeah, mega potions. That I get to use. Why would it be a mega potion? Do I get Donald and Goofy back in the darkness? Can me Donald and Goofy probably Do you see what happened to Donald, Donald and Goofy, Douglas? They didn't fly. <laughs> that was obvious. They got pulled into portals not unlike the one that you used to get here. Slow mo. I love the slow motion stuff. So you, you do have Trinity? Awesome. You can end it it's like I normally end it. But we're not there yet. But you do have some good news, I believe. Oh no, never mind. You how to fly. No good news. I thought it was good news then. Oh shit, it's just it's bad news now. Okay, you gotta take all those cannons. Uh, arrow is probably not a bad idea here. See, he is lasering you still. I think you can also reflect them back, but you know it's, it's probably still easier to fight them. Much quicker. Actually, your your arrow seems to be doing that job for you as well. Ah. 
Hey guys. Well, that guy. Huh. It's magic to get this one. Yeah, this is your chance to recover magic. You know, you can, like, put this battle more into the center of the room where there's some light. Or is there just no light in this one at all? Oh, oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. Oh, there's some stunned enemies around. I cast a cure before you leave here as well. Make sure to get it, grab as much of the magic as you can. Well, Sora looked evil for a second there with the light on his eyes. Yeah, he did. Looked like Vanitas almost for a second. Battle is pretty awesome. The other half is what the fuck is going on? Like, why is there a giant airship with a giant face on it? Like, what? I, I guess sure. Why not? How is he attacking? Using his brainwaves. Really? You see that the big purple magic stuff? Who's casting that? Goggles? <laughs> no. Yeah, that that attack is how he's hurting you, and apparently that. But you already depleted, like, most of his HP. And having Goofy's here to help... Heal. Yep, the nice. Mango. No need to raise your voice. <laughs> Seriously. That's our job. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Invisibles? Okay, this one's a little tricky. I'm just gonna press A. Yeah. That, that is about, like, what, 50, 60% of Kingdom Hearts? Yep. At least the combat. It's like, like the, the, more Kingdom Hearts have gotten less like a button mashing to some extent. I don't know, maybe. I, I enjoy the simplicity of the of the original Kingdom Hearts combat system. Come on. It did look evil there. Nice slow motion roll. I, I dig it. All right. I'm assuming this would be the final stage. Shield is down. Right, Attack the core, and then when you're about to finish it off, Trinity. Huh? Did you take these too? Yeah. If they're bugging you. I, I, I think I just rushed it at this point. Holy moly, man. What? Yeah, just fuck those turrets up really yeah. easy. Yeah. Uh, when, when, before you finish this, do a Trinity. It's worth it. Land and do a trick. Super slow motion awesomeness is awesome. Alright, do it. Finish this thing once and for all. Oh, no. 
Sakharov and he killed me. Wait, you just got oh, all your magic no. back too. Did someone use a mega elixir or did that just give you all your magic back? Someone used a mega elixir. Did you have your party members to help you last time with this? No. It was just, yeah, wow, this is actually going way faster. They ain't fucking around. Um, I just, I, I never noticed this until now, but he's giant. When did he become a giant? Maybe you're just really small. No, no, we were fighting him earlier, and, and the proportions were not, we were not, like, the size of his, of, of his upper leg. You learned another MP rage? That's what I meant, man. You get, you get lots of those. It becomes even easier to recover MP in later fights. You know, what a waste that big fucking thing he was sitting on, man. Like, that thing didn't even swing its fists. It's all about sitting down. That was a cool explosion. Or implosion. Energy release. It is futile. The Keyblade alone cannot seal the door to darkness. Kingdom Hearts! Fill me! With the power of darkness. Just like some two comes, I was like, no. Blocks back into the door. <laughs> Supreme darkness. You're wrong. I know now. Without a doubt. Kingdom Hearts is light. <laughs> Kid back here. Oh, Exothermic reaction. He's not been in this game, if you noticed. You got back to this door real quick. Like, you just got in there. Like, moments ago, you were, you were sent there. Moments ago, on the scene, Riku showing up. <laughs> Riku doesn't need to lock himself in. He does if you don't want to fight that fucking thing, or two of those fucking things. It's Shut up, Tony. Donald, like, those things are really easy to kill. Have you not noticed that? Yeah, look, Riku just exploded with his mind. No, no, he didn't, actually. Goofy did it. <laughs> The original Mickey voice still, too. But don't worry. There will always be a door to the light. Whoa! You can trust King Mickey. Now, they're coming. Donald, Ruby, thank you.
take care of her. There's no keyboard. acoustic guitar. Damn it, one of those worlds is symbol world is the symbol world. Laying the frameworks for my hatred of that level in Kingdom Hearts 2. Hades time trials and all like there's still stuff to do. You can get to level 100. You can do you can synthesize the ultimate weapon. 
you can come back and refight this whenever you want. Could you imagine going into the 100 acre wood and having Merlin just kind of close the book on you guys? No! <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so brutal. Oh. Oh, a keyblade ball. I'm gonna seal the world. What are we sore with? What's <laughs> keyblade here? Right now. Well, keyblade does go with us when we go into the Winnie the Pooh books. Yeah, true. So, Douglas, we talked about your least favorite world. What was your favorite world? Um, I really liked. Hollow Bastion. I really like the end of the world area. Yeah. The end of the world is what it is. But Hollow Bastion is pretty good, but it has a lot more platforming and annoying falling stuff than I remember. You see, the, uh, what I find with this game is that you, it gets much better as you go along, as most games sometimes do. Or yeah, it definitely do. starts off slow, like starting you off in like Alice in Wonderland, even when you start going. Deep jungles where it picks up, where it really starts to pick up the first time. Yeah. Except for the vines. But I mean, that's a bigger world, there's more to do there, there's mini yeah. games, it's like its own thing. It's true. Like when you when you sum it up, when you really sum it up, there's like three or four areas in the Alice in Wonderland area. The Bizarre River Queen's Castle, the Lotus Forest, and the Mad Hatter's area. Everything else is just look our normal credit music that we've been using. Although I may have phased out after part 25. I think that's the one I was planning on using the last one for it. I still don't know what I'm going to replace it with yet. Something more epic. Something that has a build up to the end. Yeah, the end of the game. But yeah, part 25 is the last one that's, uh, well, it's, it's still yet to go up at the time of this recording. So part 25, well, it should have been up like three hours ago, but I'm late because we're filming this. So I hope you can forgive that. Hey look, it's we, we got video again. Look, he's a real boy. Who? Aerith, what does she fight with? She just dies. I mean, Aerith? Uh, I'll what, spoil Aerith? Final Fantasy VII a bit Aerith. for you. Sephiroth stabs her and kills her. She uses the staff. Oh, yeah, she but you can she can't... still get her ultimate weapon? Even after she's dead? No, no, you get it before she dies. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a small little fucking You get it right before she dies? No, not necessarily. I fucking Probably like one level or two before, or like one area before, or something. Some shit like that. So there's all the princesses, if you had forgotten. Alice, and Alice is a fucking princess? I know, that's the weirdest thing. Oh, young to be a fucking princess. I know. There's an Ariel who's actually a princess? Yeah, but it, it would have been. It, how, how do you move Ariel? Like, I can see the logistics of not using Ariel. Big fish bowl, yeah. What I don't understand is why not, um. Why not Wendy or something? Who the fuck is Wendy? I guess she's still a girl too. I guess that's there's the actually a queen in. Yeah, yeah. Queen isn't a princess. Yeah, but th no, there's a queen in that game versus Wendy's story. There's no queen. There's Captain Hook. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, no. I guess it either had to be Alice or Wendy, and they went with Alice because that does make more sense, I guess, than Wendy. Well, you know, they could have just thrown in another world, but that is a, that is a lot more work. Yeah, no. Like, I guess they could have made Meg or something one of the um, princesses, but she's not a character in this game. She's you know who I mean, right? Hercules. Hercules, yeah, Hercules girl. She's she is in the second game. You know, there's a lot more characters in the second one. Character voices. Disney character voices. And here's the rest of them. Anson, Billy Zane. The only... His Is voice changed. Voice? He, he, his voice changed. I didn't see James Woods. James Woods would be in here. Yeah, there's Gilbert Gottfried, so definitely... There's my man. James Woods is going to be in here. It's, it's alphabetical, so he's the end. Yeah. It didn't show Nimoy. Nimoy was not in oh, the voice. In, he was only he started being a voice in Birth by Sleep, uh, and he will be a voice in 358. Sorry, not 358. In 
the 3DS in the Dream Drop Distance. Do you think he's played through these games? Who? Leonard Nimoy? No. Doubtful. No, I do not imagine Leonard Nimoy has played the Kingdom Hearts series. Let alone picked up a video game controller. Uh, yeah. do, I, I don't, I don't know enough about that, but again, Surprise that's probably also anymore. unlikely. I just don't think it's in his interests. Nothing against him. He's just probably would, he'd probably rather read a book. Leonard Nimoy is an H. Paw fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he'd rather watch H. Paw episodes. Yeah. So, he's gonna watch and marathon. marathon. And he's gonna... So yeah, so maybe he will see it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He watched the Kingdom Hearts 2 marathon and that convinced him to be he's in Birth gonna, by Sleep. He's gonna watch the marathon and be like, wait. We caused that. Wait, I was in. Yeah, because that was filmed before before they got the voice actors for that, so we can definitely cause or uh, can, can take. Leonard Nimoy for that. was our idea. <laughs> Windows 8 was not our idea, though. I think it's not a good direction for Windows. Sorry, I just the, the whole. Leonard Nimoy was my idea. That, that's the Windows 7 uh. location. Windows 7 was my idea. Right, right, right. Their marketing campaign. Frizz Brawner. This is good. Good game. Tomohiro. Yes, yeah, pretty good. Ten years old and still kicking. There's definitely some some rough edges, especially in the Winnie the Pooh area. And anytime the game tries to platform. I mean, it's almost funny. And there's definitely some camera control issues and some. The key to the key to making that phantom clock thing work is go to a face where we're on, we're locking on to phantom is just so hard itself that it. That's what I did. That's what I always did. Just went on the fucking corner. Do we do enough to get the secret ending? Yeah, we haven't beaten several. That's it. I think we did. Yeah. I don't think you need to beat any of the secret bosses really to do, to do that. You do need to see all the worlds and get all the donations though. Which we did. This is not the same game. He's gotta find Riku and King Nicky. Where are they? They're in Narnia. Looking for that there door to the light. I'm not gonna fucking tell you. <laughs> so, this path, this path leads to the um, the divide between the worlds, where you can take crossroads between the realm of light, dark, and the world, and the realm in between. And they follow the path in between, which leads them to Castle of Oblivion and the start of Chain of Memories. Chain of Memories. So, Chain of Memories directly follows the running down of this path. Oh, the card game. Card game one. I didn't play it for long enough. Remember, Sora, you are the one who will open the door to the light. So, what does Riku do? Open the door to the darkness, obviously. Yeah. General, oh, here we go. Another side, another story. It's gonna be weird looking at this again. The preview for Kingdom Hearts 2 at this point. There's Roxas. So there's Roxas. We now I mean, yeah, I can like I can explain what's going on now. This is in the world that never was, the, the, the nobody world. Neo Shadows. Riku with the blindfold on, because without it he becomes Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Oblivion and Oathkeeper.
Who likes stats? Oh boy. How many horses stolen? Oh, what? No stats? Oh, pit? I think you only get stats in hard mode, actually. I remember reading that. So, nobody likes stats! <laughs> uh, I think you get stats no matter what you do in Kingdom Hearts 2. And pretty much every other Kingdom Hearts game. But otherwise, you get this. You also get a different piece of art if you beat it on hard mode. Cool. I don't, I don't actually know if we can leave here. I without, without, a, without, a, without a reset. I don't believe you can. So I guess that will end our Kingdom Hearts marathon. It's been a it's been a long one. We'll have uh, I guess maybe one more part come out where we'll uh, try Sephiroth again. Uh, we're, not, we're, not, we're not going to be filming that today. Um, so we'll uh, we'll be back with a bit more of the Kingdom Hearts marathon. We've got a couple weeks to catch up to film this extra part or two. Because uh, yeah, like I said, part twenty-five has not yet gone up. Well, uh, if you're watching, if you're watching this, like any time other than release, none of this is relevant anymore. What part is this supposed to be? Uh, I think this is thirty-three. No, sorry, thirty-six. This is part thirty-six. So uh, yeah, that's it. Is there really no way out of here? Well, you can do the factory reset. Yeah. Yeah, but that doesn't work properly on the emulator, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure it does. We did that no, before. no, it does, but it, it screws up the sound. Uh, but I guess it doesn't right, really matter. Right, right. So. Possible other things. So we'll do it anyway. I think, uh, I think this is a good, like, tune to go. Oh, on. you want me to just fade it out yeah, here? Yeah, you should just fade this shit out, yeah. Alright, we'll just let it sit for a sec. Let everyone enjoy.